As a successful divorcee, I thought I'd give you my five top tips on how to deal with it. <laughs> Number one, people will say things to you that you don't like. When we first split up, somebody said to me that it's like a bereavement. It's one of those stock phrases that roll out of people who've never thought of peeing on the husband's toothbrush and not telling him. Time's a healer, plenty more fish in the sea. My own personal favourite, I never liked him. That was me mum. I used to get the how are you head tilt a lot. How are you? Just want to get it straight. It isn't like a bereavement at all. Because if he died, I'd have had my mortgage paid. And I could have danced on his fucking grave. <laughs> Number two. Things might happen that make you realise that maybe your ex wasn't as brilliant as you thought he was. When we sold the flat, we decided to leave things like carpets and blinds and whatnot, but there's one pair of curtains that he decided he wanted to take. They were green fleur de not to my taste. He'd had them for 10 years, I worked it out. Through three flats in a house, through two girlfriends and a wife, these curtains had prevailed. I did suggest to him that it maybe wasn't such a good sign that he could commit longer to a pair of curtains than he could to any one woman. And his response was, but they're lined. Number three, counsellors are often a very good idea, but it's a good idea to have your own rules on how to get over it as well. My counsellor told me to buy a book by Paul McKenna called How to Mend a Broken Heart. I got to page 30 and I slept with a 23 year old. <laughs> it's not what it said. It's what it should have said, because it really fucking worked. When I bought the book, I bought it off Amazon and underneath it said, customers who bought this also bought suicide isn't always the answer because it sometimes is. <laughs> Number four. Now, you might find you have to go to family planning again, having not been for many, many years. I told my dad that this would be the first time I've been to family planning without having a boyfriend or husband in tow. And he said, with a hint of pride in his voice, that's because you're freelance now, which I appreciate is code for slut. And the final thing to remember when getting divorced is that your family love you, regardless of what they say. I had to move back in with my mum and dad for a while after getting divorced. You need to know a little bit about the family so you know what I'm dealing with here. My dad has a heart of gold, but is the voice of doom. There was a time when I was sitting on the floor, sobbing uncontrollably, with snot coming out of every hole in my face. You know, when you lick a tear off your lip and you realise it wasn't a tear, and you don't really care. And my dad said, you're bound to be upset. You've lost everything. And he left a little pause and he said, you've got nothing left. As if I was a little bit unclear. Thanks for watching. You know what would be great is if you liked and subscribed. I'm so needy, I'm so sorry. Uh, and why not come and see me live? And uh, the tickets are available at sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.